and always a reminder for myself, an abdu qur'aji so da'ifu miskeen zalim jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that we talked last night about the events of, of Karbala and the significance of the sacrifice of Imam Hussain as, as a grand intercession and for those whom have a love and this is based on the reality of love that everything can be tested by Allah through a test then evidence becomes clear. When people profess to love Sayyidina Muhammad and such tragic events take place in our history it's a test also for people to see how much love do they really have. That how can you claim to love Sayyidina Muhammad and such horrific events took place and that that's not taking precedent within your heart. That that has to reign supreme, every other event of Ashura is nothing in comparison to the significance of the killing of the holy family of Sayyidina Muhammad It's but even a drop in the oceans of reality that Allah created this creation for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad Imagine then the love that he has for this holy family that from that light Allah wanted to be known and through the light of the holy family Allah's secrets will be known. Imagine if Allah says, I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known and people who follow our teachings understand. The hidden treasure Allah is making reference to is not La ilaha illallah because that already tells you don't look here. No, there is nothing about Allah not for you. So the kalima holds every reality. So if Allah wants to be known, it's going to be known through Muhammadun Rasulullah Anything in reference to Muhammadun Rasulullah then must be Allah's uh, immense secrets. He's wanting to be known by that reality. So when He calls something Ahlil Bayt, people of the household, Qalbil Mu'man Baytullah as Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Which, which bait? What house Allah is talking about? People don't know what house we're even talking about. When Prophet is saying, Ahlil Bayt, it's not a, a, just a reference to his home down the street because these are Divinely hadith that coming and Allah is, is describing that my house is the heart of, of the believer and that the heart of Prophet is the house of Allah And then whom does Allah have within his house? these souls, these Divinely souls because we said Allah wants to be known. Allah is going to be known by the best of His creation, He's going to put the best of secrets within that and then disguise and hide it and see that, can you see it? Can you feel it? And that's why Allah whom bad to you is bad to me. And every time Prophet would become saddened and, and upset 
when the children of Ta'if were, were bothering and all of the calamities and tragedies that were occurring, Allah reassured Prophet that it's not you that they're against but it's me. Means that I occupy every faculty of you, I am your eyes, I am your seeing, I am your hearing, I am your speaking, I am the hands in which you touch and the feet in which you move. And the, the agitation that people have and the lack of submission that people have Allah is reassuring to Prophet that it's me they're coming against. But for us the other side of that is Allah is saying, watch out because who is Sayyidina Muhammad The Allah is reassuring that these lights and these realities are Divinely lights and Divinely realities dressing upon creation. The maximum that you can get into creation of blessed and holy and purified, Allah is dressing that reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why Hadith Al-Qudsi is so immense that it keeps opening immense oceans of reality. Then Prophet comes to his, his household, Allah's household to describe his family and describes that the love for Imam al Husayn minhi wa minhum, minhi wa minhum that he is from me, Imam Husayn and I am from him. And Prophet described the same then for Imam Ali Salam, who comes against him has come against me. Then described for Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salam, who angers her angers me. So that the nation that seems to be clueless would be left with clues. So that to be warned that you love me no doubt because you see me and so much miraculous lights and blessings around Prophet But warning that if a day comes and you allow your inner badness and inner jealousy and inner deceitfulness and character to enter within your hearts you begin to not see me, you won't feel me and you begin to anger me and you come against me. What did he warn with Imam Hussain I'm he's from my light and I'm from his light. He warned about Imam Ali Salam, if you come against him you have come against me and then he warned of Sayyidatina Fatima Salam, if you anger her you have angered me. That Prophet is giving to us all these characteristics so that we would be watchful. Watchful that the Muhammadan light is what makes things to be holy. In our life and in our pursuit the light that we have is a temporary light. Like an old candle and as we proceed and advance on our spiritual path every bit of love and ishq and, and dhikr and salawat and all these practices Allah is making a bargain with the believers. This was Surah Tawbah. We take from the believers their dunya. And we give them akhirah in exchange and this is the best of bargains to make. What does that mean? That Allah take your car and next day is burak in your backyard? No but your dunya light 
that He gave you a temporary light. He didn't give you the keys to the kingdom, He didn't give us the keys to the kingdom, He gave us a temporary light and we call that dunya light because everyone has it, everyone is existing. As soon as you take a breath on this earth, this light comes into you and you're existing now in dunya. And every good deed towards our paradise reality, every good action, the dhikrs and the ibadah, the worshipness, all of this love that's being built, there's an exchange happening in which Allah takes the light of your temporary existence and upgrades you to permanent light and eternal light. So what would be our, our analogies in technology? You know before life was with a candle, so you watch old movies that didn't have electricity, what happened? They had candles and how fragile life was at that time because if a wind came into your house all the light went off and that's symbolic of our life in, in a temporary dunya state that everyone lives their life like it's a candle and every wind will blow it out, any hardship comes, any test comes, they say, oh I'm finished with all of this uh, heavenly stuff, I'm finished with the heavens and the Creator and it's as if the wind came and blew their candle out. Then Allah brought electricity. But now the light is not that easy to blow out. This is for us to know that when Allah's taking our temporary and faithless light and giving us eternal light, like an electricity that comes and a qudra that illuminates your heart and it's very difficult for wind to knock out electricity. Then the light becomes more and more powerful as if your heart has now lithium batteries, more powerful batteries, magnetic and solar batteries means more and more power come that not relying upon the earth but coming from an eternal source, samadhiya. The samadhiya reality of one's soul in which Allah is taking your dunya light and giving to you a paradise and eternal light. And Allah said, this is the best of bargains. In your life always exchange your physical light for paradise light. If they tell you tonight there's going to be an opening of worshipness, you show up and give your physical light so that Allah will give you more of your eternal light and this is an exchange and bargain in which Allah says, quickly make it before the time is closed. For if you should see the horizon and events begin to collapse and crush upon the earth, Allah describes that now that bargain is closed. People think they'll, they'll wait till Qiyamah comes and the polar shift changes and east and west changes and the sun lowers and the oceans boil and at that time they say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah and Allah said, get lost. Come before that event happens, before the difficulty and calamities come, make your bargain now. So it's okay we make well, Ramadan comes with fast. Every opportunity Allah is saying, make the bargain, give your light for that which is eternal and it never leaves you and it becomes more and more powerful and shaitans are less able to and blow your light out, blow your faith out, make you to shift. People you can see their life, a little bit of test come and they begin to shift all over the place. And what we want to leave is the temporary to the permanent light. So this explanation of that light. So when Allah is making that exchange, Allah gives the best of what He has. So the way of marifa and Gnosticism comes and describes Ayatul Kareem. And what light Allah is giving to the believer? He's taking away the temporary light and giving to them from the realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah 
giving them the Muhammadan light, the eternal light, that which is not temporary, that which is eternal. And what Allah describes about that light, that how can I punish them when they're making istighfar and that you are present with them? Means the deep reality is that the believer carries the Muhammadan light within their entire wujud. And the more of the light that they have, then Allah is then extinguishing the lights of punishment that, how can I punish them? Because they've been taught to make istighfar. The whole nation is told, make istighfar all the time, astaghfirullah ladheem wa tubu alayk. And their good deeds are being placed in them, Muhammadun Rasulullah they may not know it. But when their death they're reciting Surah Yaseen Everywhere we look Allah is giving us immense intercession of Prophet And the way of Marifah then comes into our life and teaches us that which is eternal is the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah And then when Prophet was telling the companions and telling all of history, minhu wa minhum that he's from my light, he carries within him alayhi salam an immense Muhammadan light. It's that very light that annoyed you, it's the very light that mystified you, it's the very light that anointed you. His beauty immense alayhi salam Imam al Husayn alayhi salam and because of the love and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad that he carried, devils became jealous. And this is the danger that Prophet was wounding for us, that he's from my light, that from my very essence Allah took from that and made Imam al Husayn and even describes Sifat al-Rahim that Allah from His names and attributes of the reality of Rahim and the Hay within Rahim is the secret of the Yaqeen of Imam al Husayn salam. And Allah put that light of Sayyidina Muhammad within the reality of Imam al Husayn salam. So then who did you kill in the field? And who did you fight in those fields? And who did you come against in that field? And everyone who talks against Karbala and everyone who thinks it's not important to remember, they killed Sayyidina Muhammad's light. As Allah gave consolence to Prophet that, don't be sad they're coming against me. What then Prophet is teaching us? They killed the light of Sayyidina Muhammad in the field. Their jealousy overtakes them because many who were men whom that from my light Allah brought that reality that is you're taking your sword and slicing, you're killing the light of Sayyidina Muhammad you're making attack against Sayyidina Muhammad and those whom don't talk about and don't remember and don't want to acknowledge, they don't even have the faculty to think that they came against Sayyidina Muhammad light. That's the immensity of why crying. Ya Latif, imagine all these muhibeen and ashiqeen seeing, these are Muhammadan lights. And they come with a knife like it's a goat or a sheep and slaughtering. As if all of them if their faces were real and the, the real identity of them appeared and all you could see in the field was Muhammadun Rasulullah How they were able to do that? And how if somebody has a heart of ishq and muhabbah and marifah doesn't recognize that now? 
that every ashiqeen carries Muhammad and Rasulullah within them. The reason they're taught adab is because anytime you come across a Muhammadiyoon whether they have a little bit of love or they're over fountain, overflowing fountains of ishq and muhabbat it's Muhammadun Rasulullah And because of that they keep their ihtiram and their respect. They come across many Muhammadan and they don't even know that they're Muhammadiyoon because they even ask, why you say Muhammadiyoon? It's because the light of Sayyidina Muhammad just you. And even if they attack you and bother you, what do your shaykhs tell you in your heart that, Shh, hold yourself, you're about to come across Muhammadun Rasulullah They would rather die, they would rather be attacked than to ever unleash their tongue and their heart against Muhammadun Rasulullah They ask Allah always for good adab, that no matter what difficulty comes not to raise your sword, your tongue and your qalam against Muhammad and Rasulullah All of those whom love him are gardens of love, gardens of roses. So we don't go into a garden and cut these roses and step on them. So they taught us when we entered into this path, be careful because this is the, the fragrance and the beatific gardens of Muhammadun Rasulullah The light of Prophet emanates within their heart and within their spirits, the over, overflowing Fountains of that reality are what fragrance and attract people to their knowledges. Because the fragrance, the character, the beatific character, the haqqaiqs and the realities that are flowing, these are all the Muhammadiyoon fountains. And because of that they taught us early in our path, your manners. If it is Muhammadun Rasulullah that you love, Guard yourself very carefully when you enter into this garden. And that's why the manners was the important part. Not the, uh, the perfection in their prayers, the perfection in their qirat, the perfection in every sort of characteristic. But as soon as they come across the Muhammadiyoon their knives quickly come out and begin to slash and, and cut and make comments. Because you know you can cut somebody one time and you kill him. But you can backbite him and as if you stabbed him a thousand times because now every lie you said keeps going out to people and now that lie are like knives that come towards the person. And that's why Allah describes the backbiting and slander so bad. Once less you kill the person they're dead you're going to have to deal with Allah for wrongful violence. But when you slander and backbite people. It's as if thousand knives are coming into them. And then they're teaching that these are Muhammadun Rasulullah What do you do on Yawm al Qiyamah when Prophet asks them, did you not see me in the field when you were killing him? You didn't smell my fragrance and my love, you had no love in your heart. If the jealousy overtakes you and the Yazid within somebody overtakes them, they lose the miracle. They no longer see the miracle, they no longer hear the miracle and they begin to attack against Sayyidina Muhammad Because what is everybody? Anybody who went on a spiritual path they're no longer existing, there's no no John. He died many years ago. So what is that light? 
It's Muhammadun Rasulullah sallam. Bad is from myself and the goodness is from Muhammadun Rasulullah sallam. And all those who have love and ishq and that's why the tariqah is based on manners. Why? Because they're in the presence of the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad Conduct yourself accordingly. They're taking notes on the words and of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Conduct yourself accordingly. You're giving into the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad Conduct yourself accordingly. So that Allah made the tariqahs, especially Naqshbandiyatul Aliyya which is the soul of all tariqahs, I can't speak for any other tariqah, only for Naqshbandiyatul Aliyya which is the soul of all other tariqahs. Allah guided to the tariqahs so their Islam would be real. So that when they say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa habibahu wa rasuluhu. It's real every time they see their shaykhs because the Muhammadan light emanates within them, the ishq emanates within them, every, every salah is real, every interaction is real, every donation is real, everything they're doing is witnessed by a Muhammadan and they carry the hadith of Qudsi that he is their hearing. He is their seeing, He is the hands in which touches them, the feet in which move, the tongue in which speaks to them. And Allah made the faith to be real for tariqahs. That's why Allah gives it an adab, gives a whole surah, Surat Al-Kahf just to keep the manners of that reality. That when you're accompanying these people who've been taught a rahmah, who achieved a rahmah and taught heavenly knowledges is that they're Muhammadiyoon and they're from the gardens of that reality and they're fragranced by that reality in the heart of Prophet And that's why we don't hurt Ahlul Bayt, we don't come against like the warning from Imam Ali we don't come against the Ahlul Bayt. For if we come against then Prophet described, then you're coming against me. And we don't anger these Ahlul Bayt, for if you anger them you've angered Prophet So the tariqah comes and teaches us the immensity of these events. If somebody can't find a reason why to be sad for Ashura, look back into their heart and find out why is it that you don't love Sayyidina Muhammad and you're supposed to love more than you love yourself. This is the immensity of these days and these events and why they say Ashura is everywhere, is every day, Karbala is everywhere. Because look at what they do to the ashiqeen and muhibeen. Those whom love the reality, who want to profess the reality, who want to teach the reality, they silence them, they attack them and the dunya wants nothing of them to be on, on this earth. They want everyone say, Allah but nobody to say, Muhammadan Rasulullah and said, in the last days that becomes the key of salvation. The key of salvation is to keep the love of Muhammadun Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs. Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people. 
and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.